My name is Mickey Kaufman. I'm a doctoral student at the CUNY Graduate Center, and I am the uh, originator of the Quantifying Kissinger project. Quantifying Kissinger is a series of textual analyses of the Kissinger correspondence at the Digital National Security Archive. Uh, it comprises 17,600 telephone conversations and meeting memoranda that were transcribed and declassified and made available at the National Security Archive website. There are a number of steps in the process. Most importantly is getting the material to a point at which it can be analyzed using textual analysis tools. Uh, in order to do, to do that, uh, I wrote a number of scraping tools to pull down uh, approximately 54,000 different files. Uh, those include the 17,600 meeting memos, but also short and long metadata description pages for each of the documents that describe its date, its place of origin, the participants and subjects discussed, etc. We used quite a number of tools in the analysis. We used uh, a tool called AntConc that is uh, used for doing word frequency analysis, but also allows you to do something called word collocation analysis, which is starting with a given word, indicate all of the surrounding words that are found at varying degrees of uniqueness. Uh, we also use topic modeling uh, in the, using the Mallet toolkit. When you generate a topic model, um, you choose how many topic words a topic has. The precedent of projects that I had, uh, was familiar with at the time, the Martha Ballard Diary by Cameron Blevins uh, had just come out, uh, and Robert Nelson at Richmond had just done the Mining the Dispatch topic model. And I don't remember whether the Martha Ballard's Diary limited to 40 topics, but the Robert Nelson one did. I chose 40 also because I thought if this scholar had chosen a range of 40 topics and that seemed like a volume of topics that he could make sense of, it struck me to, to follow that precedent. So 40 proved to be a good, um, a good number also because when I ran the topic model, about five of those 40, I had no idea what they referred to. They were either arcane or complex, or they represented, uh, there, were, there were language in those words I didn't quite understand. And so I thought roughly 10% that I don't understand seemed like a good number. Unlike some projects, I have the benefit of being able to use an archive that has human-generated topics and other information uh, pre-existing. So when I ran a topic model of the Kissinger stuff, what I found was many of the topics that the topic model identified as being prominent were recapitulated in the lists of topics that the human archive archivists had pointed out, sometimes on a one-to-one -one basis, um, which provided a good validation that there is um, objective value in the topic model. Topic modeling is quite powerful and it's quite controversial. It's a statistical process, which means every time one does a topic model, one uh, receives different results. There's a tendency to interpret topic models literally. A topic model is based on a lot of math and tokenization of words um, that isn't easily understandable by a person. And so to take a topic model as a literal representation of the material is, is, is a mistake. Uh, however, it did serve as a an interesting means of facilitating an exploration of the archive.